Hey friends, welcome back to my channel, Coffee with Stephanie. I'm Stephanie and I'm super excited that you are here with me today. So, are you ready to decorate? <laughs> um, Casey was ready to decorate, especially like put the tree up. Um, about two or three weeks ago, that's the end of November, so probably about three weeks ago, like as soon as Halloween was over and it was November 1st, it was like, okay, he's ready, let's go. He was very eager. And when you have eager kids that want to decorate, the tree goes up, <laughs> you know? And he was pulling like all the decorations out that, you know, he knew where they went and he placed them out. It was actually really cute. Um, very excited. And I remember being his age once upon a time and being super excited to decorate and just making the house feel festive and Christmassy and cozy. Um, so this is my Decorate With Us video and also my Christmas home tour video. So the first clips that you are going to see are us decorating the Christmas tree and and um, myself decorating other areas of the house and then I will take you guys along and we will look at everything and um, I'll also um, after we are done going through the whole house I will add clips at night time so you can see what everything looks like all lit up and looking so so stinking cute. I just love it when the house is lit up. <laughs> yep and that the Christmas tree is the only light in the room at night it's just it's magical it's cozy it's christmassy it gets you into the festive mood so yeah so sit right back enjoy let's um get into the christmas spirit and yeah have fun decorating and then i'll take you guys around and show you everything
You better watch out. You better not cry. You better not pout. I'm telling you, right. I know it's cold out here. Frosty the snowman. Okay, let's take a quick peek at the front. All right, so we have Grogu. Gro. We oh, have pushing him. We have yeah, the wind's pushing him, and we have Rudy, the reindeer, and Steggy the dinosaur. Wobbling. Looking good. Wobbling. Yes, he's 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 a little, little tipsy right now. <laughs> Yo, I'm gonna tie them soon. All right, so first Christmas decoration is my Merry Christmas sign on the front door with Santa and Frosty. And next up are the stockings. They're all hung on the wall. Um, so the Snoopy one is Lois's stocking. The Justin Bieber stocking was the hubby stocking, um, but now is taco or hamster right here. That's her stocking. Let's say hello. Hello. Can you say hello? She's uh, snoozing away. <laughs> She's like, don't wake me up if you don't have food. <laughs> and then these ones are the boys' stockings that my sister made. My talented one <laughs> with the sewing machine. And um, my other sister's talented too. <laughs> Um, my husband's a stocking, the bear one, and my stocking with a moose on on it, and then Mr. Gnome here sign, and then I have a Christmas tree that lights up. Um, this one is a set of three, and you can also put it on a timer, so um, if you don't want to do it like every night, you know, you can put it on a timer. Um, and then... Who remembers these? <laughs> I think these were from McDonald's. Yeah. From 100 Mile Donations. I do have two of them. And the little gingerbread man. He's a napkin holder, actually. Napkin holders make great decoration pieces. And in the window, I have my village of a Hallmark snowman that move and play music along with Fonzie and Kermit, Miss Piggy. Santa Garfield and Santa Bugs Bunny and the window decorations that the boys had fun putting on Decorating the window looks fabulous. Super cute And a gingerbread garland on the curtain rod Very cute And over here we have a snowman wreath that I made last year and then we have <laughs> stitch with the best Santa hat ever. Montreal Canadian one. That's right. He's a Hab fan. <laughs> and here's my other hundred one donation. And neck and ring. And yeah. Oh, I forgot to turn on the tree. There we go. Pretty. And right here on the floor, we have a red truck. I think it used to be a planter. Um, and there's a tree in the trunk with lights. And then we have Mr. Grinch. And then string of lights, which I got at Giant Tiger. And the third and final Christmas tree that light up. And a little gingerbread house from Dollar Riyama. Um, and Charlie, our nutcracker from Walmart. And a couple more of the Hallmark snowmen right here. And of course, Mickey and Minnie that I got last year at Canadian Tire. Just hanging out, being super cozy. And my wreath. Beautiful wreath. Um, this did, I bought this probably about six years ago at Canadian Tire and it had lights on it already as you can tell. But last year the lights decided to, to just, you know, kick, kick the can. <laughs> yeah, they uh, kicked the bucket. And so I decided to buy some at Dollar Tree, the red truck ones. And they're battery operated 
and I just wrapped it around and uh, I still have lights on it. And here is a banister with my garland and Winnie the Pooh lights that I found on Poshmark last year. I absolutely love them. It just looks so cute, so cozy, cozy little corner. <laughs> yeah, so they're just adorable. I mean, look at little piglet. Yeah, I love it. Gnome for the holidays a sign. And Merry and Bright Red Truck. Have yourself a Merry Little Christmas Red Truck. <laughs> and home for the holidays. <laughs> Red Truck. And here is another Hallmark snowman walking his snow dog and the advent calendar from Costco shaped like a Christmas tree. And uh, baby Jesus and Mary and Joseph and the Christmas tree that lights up. This was um, one of my first decorations. Um, when the husband and I were first married that my mom bought us. So, love it. And a firehouse that was given to the boys from my mom. And a cute little Christmas tree I found at a yard sale. And a cute little sled. <laughs> so cute. And a cute little Christmas carousel that plays mini Christmas music. Um, but I won't turn it on because I'll get copyrighted, but it's very cute. And um, Casey put the last two the gingerbread men napkin holders and the um, nutcrackers that the boys made last year. They were waiting in line for their turn on the carousel. That's why they're there. So I thought that was cute of him to do that. Yeah, they might be waiting in line for a while. So another red truck sign, season's greetings and reindeer in a sled, a garland. And on the table, I have my centerpiece um, with the poinsettia placemats and decoration my mom gave me and the main decor piece on here i got this at goodwill quite a few years ago and i just fill it with bulbs from dollarama and uh a santa claus that casey painted and frosty that needs to be painted mm -hmm. like my table <laughs> uh -huh. memories <laughs> And my beautiful manger scene with Christmas lights because even baby Jesus needs Christmas lights on his home. Yes. And a beautiful angel. And another little manger scene and it lights up. I found that at Value Village. I think it was last year. I think so. Well, the year before. And here is my table that I like to decorate. Um, I found this tablecloth at our local thrift store and I absolutely love it because it looks vintage. And anything that looks vintage, I love. Um, it looks like it's from the 70s, maybe 80s. And um, if you've been keeping up with my vlogs, um, this is Henry's Christmas tree and my oldest, he... Um, seems to be taking forever to decorate it. I mean, we are still in November, so he still has time. Um, but he will decorate it when he wants to. Um, so right now it's El Nicket. Yeah, El Nico. Um, so, uh, so just keep watching my vlogs. And when he does decorate it, I will show it on a vlog. Um, yeah, <laughs> he just likes to take his time. And then we have Baby Jesus, the reason for the season. Little figurines, Donkey and Mary and Joseph, snow globes, and a Santa Claus that Casey painted last year. And the main attraction to anybody's Christmas decor is the Cinderella Castle. I absolutely love this. Um, it's just gorgeous. Got at Costco, I think it was, yeah, last, was it last year? 
and I absolutely love it. It does play music, but I have the volume down because I don't want to get copyrighted. And um, just so you can get the effect, what it looks like all lit up and you can see it moving around and they're just going in a circle, going round and around. But it's just absolutely adorable. Oh, so stinking cute. Although there are a couple very important characters missing from this. And I was really surprised because you have everybody else. You got Mickey and Minnie. There's Donald and Daisy. You even got Winnie the Pooh and Tigger and Goofy. Goofy is like right there. But there's no Chip and Dale. No Chip and Dale. That's my only complaint. I, you know what they would have been perfect on here? The Christmas tree. That would be so perfect. Just like in the movie or like that short cartoon. Um, Christmas tree. Like, why didn't anybody think of that? You know, and you got Dumbo up here. Like, so stinking cute. But yeah, they missed the boat on that. Like, that would have been so perfect. Like, are you listening, Costco or Disney? Like, come on, get with the program. <laughs> and then we have Gingy right here. More snow globes, gingerbread house, and the frosty snowman that Casey painted last year. And... A picture that my friend painted last year. And uh, Casey's Christmas tree. Who decorated his, he decorated his Christmas tree right away. Like ASAP. You know, he got right down to business. <laughs> yeah. And there's my little ballerina. She's broken, so I can't hang her. Um, she's the one that I grew up with. But uh, she's just going to hang out by the Christmas tree. Yeah. I absolutely love it. It looks so pretty and cozy. Our beautiful, beautiful Christmas tree. I absolutely love it with her angel on top. Um, she changes color every few seconds. This Christmas tree we bought this year at Walmart. We need, needed a new one and I totally forgot. Um, the one we had last year we threw out in January because it was literally falling apart. The branches were coming apart. Um, and so when it came time to get our Christmas tree from the basement and the hub you couldn't find it and then it dawned on me it's like don't um yeah I know where it is <laughs> you want the good news or the bad news <laughs> you know <laughs> Oh yeah. Um, the good news is I know where it is. The bad news is it's in the garbage and we can't get it back. So um, um, let's go get a new one. And that's what we did. Um, so I absolutely love it. Um, all these ornaments tell a story, and they have a memory attached to them. We pick up ornaments every year. Um, <laughs> these ones are mine. This one I got last year, this is Blanche, and of course this one I got this year, this is Sophia, of course, I love the Golden Girls, um, Amazon, um, Sophia is the newest one of this year, that she is the 2022 Hallmark ornament, and I wish I had the rose one, but unfortunately I missed a boat on the rose one, um, I could get on eBay, for like, you know, 230 plus dollars. Yeah, they, they're anywhere around 230, um, 300, even 400. So, um, no, thank you. <laughs> that's like way too much. And that's not even including shipping. Um, shipping is like an extra $30. So, um, but yeah, I, I love them and they're right next to each other. <laughs> um, yeah. And then like we have the boys, um, ornaments from, friends Miranda from plus size in Canada and from Tim Hortons and from Canadian Tire this is from Canadian Tire this year and we have Linus we got Thor and we have the handmade ornaments which are just one of the best kind of ornaments oh and the ornaments the boys bring home from school those ones I always look for too and I have some of my old ones. Now, this one isn't vintage, but it's made to look vintage. I got this. Oh, I think we were engaged. It was around that time. Um, so, yeah, and I just loved it because of the look. It looks vintage. Um, but this one is vintage. This one is vintage. And so is this one. And this beauty right here which I absolutely love. Um, the ballerina that got a Goodwill. Um, this one is vintage. Here's Henry's 
a baguette. <laughs> and of course, there's a bell, my favorite princess. And yeah, and chains. I think Casey made these last year. Superman, Chewbacca, and of course, we have the Flash over here. Two of my favorite Superman, Flash. Yeah, so um, beautiful. I love it. Oh, where is, I'm not sure where that one is. Um, this one is Henry's, and this one was from my aunt. My aunt got that for him. And these ones were from our Christmas tree growing up. My sister has the Mr. and Mrs. Claus. I have a soldier. And I think I have a candy cane somewhere. Oh, this one, the bulb. Oops. <laughs> Came detached. Um, I don't know if the candy cane one is up here. And of course, this year's ornament from Tim Hornens. And Casey's squirrel, his little wildlife critters, woodland critters, which I absolutely love. Um, yeah. I'm trying to see. Yeah, I know I do have one. Oh, that, here's another one from our tree growing up. There's a candy cane. I think so. I just don't see it. Yeah, so I love it. Oh, and these ones too. <laughs> this was um, when we were kids. That So I did have a stick on it, but it broke. But I love it that we have decorations from when we were growing up and that my mom gave us yeah so i love it it's absolutely gorgeous and the best part of having a christmas tree is at nighttime and it's the only light on in your house and you're watching a christmas movie it's just so magical and special